Hi, I'm Mike with Kingston Technology. Configuring your server with memory requires a solid understanding of how to balance power, capacity, and performance. Some applications require the maximum memory performance a system can support. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure the memory in your server to optimize for the highest memory bandwidth. For more information and available options, refer to Maximizing Performance for Server on Kingston.com. For this demonstration, our goal will be to achieve 256 gigabytes of system memory operating at 1600 MHz. We'll be using an HP ProLiant DL380P Gen 8 with two Xeon E5 2650 processors and 16 of Kingston's 16 gigabyte DDR3-1600 registered DIMMs. Before we start, it's important to know a few things about your specific server. First, determine which model processor your server is using. Both Intel and AMD offer a range of server processors, and only top-end Xeon and Opteron processors support 1600 MHz DDR3. Mid-range and low-end models will force your memory to run at slower speeds, such as 1333, 1066, and 800 megahertz, which can compromise the performance of your server. Second, you'll want to study the documentation provided by your server manufacturer to understand how the memory sockets and channels are organized. If you don't have the documentation handy, you can contact a Kingston expert on our website to guide you through the upgrade path and installation. Third, when planning for your server memory requirements, it's always best to choose the highest capacity server modules your system can support. This will avoid costly upgrades in the future should selected lower capacity modules prove insufficient. The high-end Intel E5 processors in this HP ProLiant support 1600 MHz DDR3 in configurations of two DIMMs per channel. With this in mind, we'll be installing eight DIMMs in two banks of four per processor to get the maximum memory bandwidth. I recommend working with each processor memory bank separately, starting with processor 1. This server has the sockets labeled 1 through 12, with letters A through J representing the memory channels. The first memory bank, which is divided into four channels, is labeled A, B, C, and D. HP has made it easy to identify by making these sockets white. Before installing the memory, be sure to ground yourself by touching something metallic. This will dissipate any electrostatic discharge you may have on you. ESD will damage the memory. Next, you'll be selecting the first group of four modules to install in the white sockets. Please note that if you're working with different capacities or module types, such as memory that came from the factory in your server, you want to keep these together. For best performance, groups of four identical modules should be installed in each memory bank. When you install the memory, be sure the module key is aligned correctly with the socket. This will indicate whether you've properly oriented the module. When the keys are lined up, it's safe to press down into the socket. The clamps on either side will automatically fasten to the module when they're seated correctly. Be sure to press firmly to get a nice even seating. When you have the first group of four installed, locate the next bank, which is labeled EFGH. Repeat the steps for processor two which is labeled identically to processor 1. When all of the memory is installed, you're ready to boot the server to check the speed and capacity. As you can see, we've correctly installed 256 gigabytes of memory operating at 1600 MHz. If you encountered any issues during this installation, Kingston's technical support reps are standing by to assist you. Kingston offers a full range of server memory modules and products that optimize performance, capacity, and energy usage. This video on maximizing memory performance is one in a series of Kingston Memory Best Practices videos. Others in the series provide the information and product considerations needed to maximize capacity and minimize power consumption. 
Kingston also offers an experienced pre-sales technical support staff to help you determine which configuration is ideal for your environment. Please consult your Kingston representative about our Ask a Kingston Expert program in your region.